Hello again. Um, probably not going to record everything of this, but I'm not planning on advertising but salt anything. For a year. People want to watch? That's fine. Anyway, I need to play a little. Oh, I can see Karate's weapons too. Neat. Oh, it's wrapping around. I heard. Anyway, start tinkering. Not really hot off any. Probably gonna be selling this hot off. Magazine. Like, red minus twenty. Plan. magazine size because ludicrously large as it is bigger I really don't want to make the shotgun I can do prepare everything that's equipped Increasing in amount. Increase? Yes. Well, I have money after all. Lots of bladed weapons. Wow. In ah. fact, a melee weapon. Melee ranged plasma damage weapon. The running joke with my group of friends about the uh, melee ranged mind attack. Exactly what that is. No, I can't replace that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, something I wanted to check was if I can make this a sneaky boy. 
I'll do a quick save here. And pork bench. Install mod. Already installed it. And why the heck? I don't need it to be rock damage. Okay. If I can sneak attack with a grenade launcher, shall we? doing remember anymore uh i went out the front entrance uh normal Grave digging's a fine profession. Yeah? I the book to be a... Yasma? Attack more easily with a grenade bomb. To do that, I need to find some trucks. Travel to the place I haven't gone yet. Got it. Inside voices. I guess I have actually gone. I'm bad drunk. Right, it would help if I actually equip it. Sneak attack did not work at all. Good to know. Eh, you know what? I'll just keep the mods there. So, be able to turn this off, right? Okay. Is gonna make any sense? There's gotta be a way through. Unexpected. Investigating. Here they come. Got him. And jump over, make it through. Yes, but I die really easily. Good to know.
the sawed off, and the grenade launcher. Go throw them on There. Her body actually has the correct damage type in this case. Security fence. Be recent lock. Please report for an immediate reprimand. Failure to do so will result in an immediate reprimand. Yeah, huh? Oh, spacer's joints. Robots. Oh, that there's something else over here. Was. Easy when you use the correct damage type. Geothermal plant. Neat. I like how they have multiple ways in. That would have been better for sneaking out. Take your three. Okay. I always guess wanted to poke around in here. Guess we're going in. And I'll go side entrance. Because might as well. Go to our second dungeon. The second one, right? Can't talk to you. 
The control room should be ahead somewhere and a touch to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. In the second one. Your choice. This letter serves an informal notification of our company's displeasure toward your management of the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant, reasons related to exceeding your staff budget in the latest quarterly report. Please select five subordinates to be dismissed, dismissed immediately. Additionally, please contact our office to schedule your official reprimand at your earliest convenience. Failure to schedule your official reprimand will result in an official reprimand. The Spaces Choice family would like to collectively remind you that working for Spaces Choice is not a right, but a privilege. The esteemed members of the Emerald Failed Development and Oversight Committee. I hope this letter finds you wealthy. Bye. Due consideration of your last letter, I've identified and terminated no fewer than five of subordinates who are unable to provide sufficient justification for their ongoing employment. I would like to remind the Oversight Committee that while most of Emerald Vale has failed to meet its production and output quotas, particularly our agricultural and the fishing slash canning departments, neither of which are anywhere close to profitable, the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant remains committed to providing cheap, cost-efficient power to the entire region. We have investigated the claims you have made against the profitability of the Greater Emerald Vale region. Our offices agree with you. Agriculture and fishing slash canning have experienced a steady decline, while, all, while the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant remains somewhat profitable. Our offices are currently investigating ways to implement additional cost-saving measures. It will ultimately lean, lead to a cleaner, more re streamlined and more efficient geothermal power plant. Please be informed that the Spacer's Choice Development Oversight Office has taken a significant insurance policy against the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant. The office would like to assure you that this insurance policy is standard procedure. Do not attempt to interpret, understand, or otherwise extrapolate meaning from this decision. As a special courtesy, we have deployed a proprietary team of engineering specialists to the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant. This team of specialists have been instructed to refit and upgrade your plant's population of auto mechanicals. Free of charge! Thank you for cooperation. <sighs> Spacer's choice. The other way. Office door question. Hack that quickly. There's nothing else in the executive washroom. Hey, boo. You want to come over here? Wiki. Okay. That looks like something. Ooh. All over. I can see the only thing I can look. Okay, continuing on. He's rubbing up against my thumb. Alright, so either I can continue that way or through the door. Always go to open spots first. I saw a rat. Not count as an enemy. Something ahead does. Ooh, that's taking a lot of picks. Authorization passcode required. Personal logs. Chester Hagen. Found him fiddling around with one of the mechanicals, so I had to write him up for tampering with company property. 
just in case I'm reading this a couple of days from now and feeling bad for what I've done, let me remind myself that I've warned him before. It's always been a little crooked in the skull. He was working on some logic module. I confiscated it. It should be in my lockaway room for the foreseeable future. It right. The company's been replacing our guards with auto mechanicals. This raid could end up a chief security with no staff. A small army of mechanicals knocking about, guns pointing every which way. The company tells us they're safe. Programmed to treat us humans like their own? People are liable to break down, but an auto mechanical never will. I don't know. Doesn't sit right with me. But the company's never been wrong before, I suppose. Worst has happened. Mechanical's gone crazy. Locked myself down here. Trying to gather my courage. Gonna make a mad dash for the control room. Might be able to shut things down. We'll delete this entry if I ever return. That question. Greetings, Security Chief Astanaka. This is an automated message in initiated by Spacer's Choice Worker Safety Contingency Protocols. Security lockdown has been initiated. This is not a test. Your behavior during this lockdown will be reviewed during your quarterly audit. Anxiety is a common side effect of light threatening in situations engendered by security lockdowns. Fight back against anxiety with an ice cold bottle of Zero G Brew. Zero G Brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. Okay, go and quiet. Okay. The bots went crazy. Got it. You know what? I will actually pick this. Wow, you got that. That's it. Seriously. I was not worth the lock picks. Use all the rest of them, I guess. Now I don't have enough for this door. Ooh, I actually don't have a high enough hacking skill for the door. That's a first. Oh, nope, that's sealed. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the passcode. It's to the outside room. There's a vending machine in here, convenient. get to that without going around. It's crying. I've been crying a lot lately. And one of my cats is attacking the door. Oh, that's to outside. Okay, that's where I came in at. We're going this way. Wrong button. Oh, well, that didn't end well for that plant worker. Answer is no. Yep, because this is anonymous at all. Ominous. Oh, huh. worm. All right, plant status, wrong button, plant status. This access report brought to you by Spacer's Choice, Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant operating at 22% efficiency. Power is currently being distributed to Edgewater Salt Tuna Cannery and Botanical Laboratory. Warning, structural damage detected. Please notify your direct designated superior. Warning, safety failures detected. High likelihood of a moderate to severe structural damage. Redirecting power is an irreversible procedure. Okay, I have to do manual override, apparently. Yeah, huh? Okay. 
Okay, if I have a over water ride, where do I need to ride at? Apparently over there. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Where are we headed? Yep. Trying again. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That was easier than expected. Hard. No right falling damage. Take any. And how do I get there? Any hints on the map? Not especially. Need to be down on the level for some. Oh, there's a door there. Derp. Can't snipe with this. Investigate. Incoming. Ah! Woo! We may. Don't like this style of weapon. I. That one's the most efficient. Happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the Vale? Not sending power to the Something you need? Vale can go for itself. Just leave me alone. Stay alive in here. Hmm. 
No, 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 just leave me alone. That looks like plot, so I'm gonna go back. I'm not a phantom. Oh, that's it. Other places I. Let's go. Oh, hello, Jeremy. Self diagnostics complete. It's Navigation Jeremy. systems operational. Combat systems operational. It's not the best choice, it's the spacer's choice. Made it out of junkyard. All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully. Hostile actions towards spacer's choice. Mechanics are contrary to mm, logical directive. Interesting. Conclusion. All hostile auto mechanicals must be defective in compliance with spacer's choice policy. All defective you auto mechanicals. You want me to sure the other auto mechanicals? Affirmative. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Awaiting confirmation. Entering standby mode. Awaiting further instruction. Affirmative. Make All right. Yeah. Huh? Hey, Jeremy. And not to let. Already been here. Okay, that's where that door. Okay, good. Where's this one? Right? The more dead plant work. Right, control. That might be better than what I'm wearing. Uh, might as well pick the things that I can. No, boo, you do not get to eat. Go for boo. Boo. Stop obsessing over food, please. No. Okay. Let's see. Inventory. Armor. No, not better than what. No. Okay. Ah, bathroom. Got it. Okay. Where'd Jeremy go? We came from the term. You can even see the terminal there. Access log. Uh, refit.
Hmm. Range. Logic modules were changed with something that we say faulty. I wrote a copy of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. I think it's volume three. Down the pit. Much obliged. All right, so now we know where volume three is at. That explains why we put it. And we no longer have any route other than this one. Or no, we had upstairs too. But we're going this way. Go away, Phantom! Wrong button. Right button. Get away! Okay. We go down this way. Away, Phantom. Ah. Go away, Phantom. Higgins? You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. Ooh. I had slightly higher sneak. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. Mm -hmm. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprat before sprouts. ingesting. Of course. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the Phantoms of my imagination. Okay. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Mm, hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. What do you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. I've been looking Jimmy through. opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, uh, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. They ate sprats. Braised. Boiled. Charred. Skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain. What happened? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. Killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. I specialized in auto-mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them. Maintained. Upgraded. Did it all for my old workroom, just over in the next section. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our I plans, they will them. come for us. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. Well, I am an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered adventurer. a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. I'm a yes, with that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of the mechanical engineering. The noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, now that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Funny thing. I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Security chief found okay. me and confiscated the logic. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are... Forgot what you were going to say. Yeah. Surprise, Profati didn't have anything to say during that. Oh, let me come down here. Time to head back, I guess. Profati? Yeah, you don't have anything new to say yet. Back up. That's the way I'm going. Wait. Roll room's the other direction. 
go to the control room and see if there's anything else. Modify behavior. Like new mode. Not that. That was easy. Jeremy? Might be Jeremy. Can't tell. Okay. Really? Go back around. That door. This appears the only route around. <sighs> Mind the scene. You're liable to get scalded. Oh, fun. Shut off the steam, please. Thank you. Nice. Bench in here. Okay. Need more lockpicks. Of course I do. Send the power to Miss McDevitt. What happens to the veil? Well, it's probably gonna die off. All together. Wow, not even a scratch. Folk are probably not going to like me. Are you? Get me wrong. This is going to suck. But, um, right thing to do. sure what the ride is. All I know is the decision's final. That's the bar in question. Or this is the bar. One of the two. One's the one that goes there. Bones and gears don't mix. Please don't get your bones in our gears, then it costs us money. Actually, try and see if I see anything else. Yeah. 
in okay. Flag of the combat drone. Is that Jeremy? Where is Jeremy? Ah, this is back. That. Once we do this, there's no going back. Nope. There isn't. Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edwater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. Yeah, but... They don't deserve to be punished. Surgeries are also going to have problems. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow, she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. You did say something. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Especially since I'm not going to do what you want me to do. Something you need? <sighs> Redirect power. To the lab. Stop thinking on Edgewater, Captain. I'm glad the deserters are good. Yeah. yeah, I would assume that dropped my reputation. How much did it drop my reputation anyway? Reputation. They still love me, although not as much as the deserters. Air Bay. Thank you, proud to be a member of Space Show's family. Okay, um, I must have missed the, uh, engineering thing. Yeah. Can't be any more. I mean, I feel bad about having to cut off power to anybody. But I would much rather cut off power to the people who, you know, or much rather keep power up to the people who need it. They badly need power. That's how the biological lab is functioning.
I must have just missed it. Wait, jump. Close. Back. What's eating you? Nothing. Right here. Level up. Which means increase hacking. Where are we headed? Bills. Hack. Let's see how much hacking I need. Can I even do it with 54 hacking? Or what would be my... 61. Probably at that point. Oh, wow. Not that it really matters, because I can go either way. This requires, it says 32. What in the world do I have at 32 rank? Lockpick, that's what it is. I need 45 lockpick. That's not enough. Do I have equipment that will increase that? Skills, stealth still. I mean, I guess tech skill. No, it won't. It has to be stealth skills. Okay. Do that much. Seems reasonable. And then, I don't know, maybe I should increase Persuasion even higher. We'll do that. Oh, it takes 45, damn it. I want to say if it's from leveling up. Forty-five. Self skills plus five is my best, I think. Yeah. That gives me forty-five. Now I should be able to open the up. I don't have a mm. Where are we headed? On my way. Hmm. 
Plus stun. For nothing. I'm constantly out of lockpicks. Toxin free. Do you have a lockpick? Go to the botanical garden area. Where are the plants? Apparently, I missed something in here. As expected. Apparently not far away. Okay, yeah. Logic. Okay. This way. Oh, it's in there. Mechanical mm. lab. That's the good place. Something I can help you with? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. X. No. We have. Oh, yes. Right there. I'm stealing. Okay, going quiet. Geothermal, pick that stupid door. I needed one lockpick. Fire lockpick I'm gonna use. Really doesn't make that much sense, but whatever. At least I actually got high enough level. Requires Oops. do any. Far back. 
I already level up. Yes. Oh well, I guess that's how I'm leveling up. Dang it. There again. I don't know what happened to Jeremy. I think Jeremy died. Overburdened. I am. Help. Any damage? that effort. All I need to do is pay attention. Logic module. More of my picks and a bunch of other stoof. Okay, let's actually get out of here. Okay. First off, let's get back to the Vale. And they're not going to like me. But no, let's go to the lab and talk with our new friend. You say no to me. Brittany? Do you hear that? That low, pleasant hum of electricity? It whispers across the veil like the winds of change. You've done well. I would have paid my last five bits to see the look on Reed's face when the last lamp in town burnt out and the cannery fell to silence. My son worked in that cannery. Ah, uh, that explains started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. Dislike. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. Blunt as a hammer. But you're right. Nothing can undo the past. Time's come to look toward the future. We'll grow, I expect. A lot of workers out there with nowhere else to go. I'm I don't look forward to turning folk away. Camp's gotta stay pure, though. Can't have corporate um, loyalists mixing with us, no matter how desperate they may be. Sense. I am curious. Why did you help us? You don't know who we are. You don't owe us a thing. The plant's crawling with mechanicals, so it stands to reason you risked your life. This is the better way of life, but you should accept it. You're not quite like anyone else I've met. You haven't had your consciousness programmed by the board. You're welcome among us, if you're ever so inclined. You are welcome here. Yeah, everything still counts as steel. Rumble. Yeah, I don't know.
Uh, I mean, I know that she's not necessarily, um... For me. Uh, the nicest person on the planet either, but she's still way better than Reed. And I suspect Mr. Hobson's very unhappy with him. Little spaceship, all. How much of my inventory is just junk? Some, not a huge. Even worse. We're getting old. Need money too is never getting then. Really don't need this stuff on A noise. Why did you make a noise? Just a mess. So it looks like there's basically the same stuff in multiple brands. Although Adrena Time versus Indie Lotion.
like botulism for your entire body. A lot of things. I have too much stuff in my inventory. Something I can help you with? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Okay. Much better on inventory capacity. Yeah. About 50%. Oh. Next stop. Find that engine. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Got it. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really you went to so climb down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Uh, like just a little contraption I found. Surface. Should fit right into your outfit. Hey there. An armor box. Oh, neat. That's actually rather useful. Don't know if I want to waste it on this armor, but... Reed must be furious. Now uh, let's do the side quest first. The landing pad, because that's probably a safe place. You still have power. Town's been dark a while now. No? Could be a mechanical trying to sabotage. I found one. Bang up, work soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, well, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting yeah, us a gotta uniform. Gotta get a uniform. So this is it then. The key to humanity's <sighs> victory over the mechanical horde. Right. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble, and a little something to remember me by. Hey, okay. That's it. Yeah, it sounds like we're just about done with the section of the game, actually. Because um, all we have left are those. We haven't botched any quests, technically. Oh boy, they're not gonna like us. Oh, I'm sorry, Edgewater. Sucks. We'll have power. Got my sights on you. Work fortifies the spirit. Okay, it's low power. I'll meet you on the ship when you're... They're browning out. I don't think it's for everybody else.
Power's out, but I can't just leave my goods unattended. Don't suppose... Go right ahead. Power's gone. Law knows how long. Looking a good... Go ahead. The Hope? No, I've never mixed a drink by that name. I could get you a rum and something if you like. Wait, no, never mind. We're all out of something. I don't know what fancy bars you've been crawling, but the rest of us make do with zero G. Zero... You feeling a bit flushed? Look, why don't you go set your... Would you keep your voice down? You're gonna get the whole cantina written up. He does know about it. The Hope's folklore, all right? 60, 70 year old folklore by now. Mm. The board don't approve of spreading seditious he rumors knows. and falsehoods. You're inviting trouble talking that way. Look, either shut your gob or stick a drink in it. Coming right up. I can't possibly cut anyone's hair in the dark. Go ahead. Really feel bad for the people in this. Why are all the lights off? The power is out in the whole town. Pipe down. Why are they sealed? That's not right. Uh, but, but, what? Open the door. Not a chance. The last thing we need is for everyone Ooh. to get sick at a time like this. Just rule oh, for no reason. How am I supposed to file a report with the power dead? Edgewater's experiencing what we in the profession like to call a quandary. Gonna be pit or not Mercer. Um, Reed Thompson's gonna be pit. You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters: plague, marauders, mm -hmm. desertion. Then you wandered in town, and I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me: Why'd you do it? Ah. Uh. I do need the power regulator. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That power regulator is company property. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. I don't want them bleeding all over my power regulator. All right, easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for and then leave us be. Stand down, all of you. We're done here. Yeah, huh? Time to go back to the unreliable, I guess. I actually am sorry to read the power from it. But it would have been worse going the other way around. You and I have got nothing more to say to you. Where did Reed go anyway? He's just
I put my whole life in that cannery. You must be very proud. Are we getting paid or not? Any loss of productivity will be deducted from your pay. Got my hands full at the moment. Make it quick, please. Where are we headed? Go to the landing site. I'm probably going to stop shortly after the... Now I have time, but... Notifications and so on. Important. Stock stick. Actually, fairly good. That might be, yeah, it's the same power. Well, Lieutenant's no longer here. And naturally, I just got another email immediately after. Is this your ship? Oh, my star, she is just so handsome. Does I have, she have no name idea. Yet? Oh, oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Well, it's a good thing I needed an engineer. Engine. Belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but... That don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back at my post. I have imagined it, but until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. Of course. But can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. Always I know have come my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? You sure reads the back of mind? I know, I know. Mr. Thompson said I was to chaperone you about the veil. Loan me out to you like I was Spacer's choice property. Well, they may, well, they may think I am, but I'm not. Good. Yeah, Mr. Thompson's got a temper. But I'm more scared of missing out than I am of him. That's a good. I don't want to lose my one chance. So why do you want to go with space with a stranger? Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I've had my misgivings about Miss McDevitt and the deserters, but you took pity on them and sent power to their garden, even though you knew Mr. Thompson would hate you for it. All this time, you've been determined to get your regulator back, get your ship up and running, and cut a path out of this place. And well... So, I, I found out something earlier today. Um, I know that there's at least two other paths that that quest line can take. I know this because I was talking with a uh, co-worker of mine who's playing through and he accidentally stumbled across one of the other paths. Not much of an Edgewater left to go back that, to. That, yeah, that's fair. My whole life's been small. I realized that when you walked into I have town. Key in my lap. That's I've been good. seeing the same faces every day, the same sky, the same stars. Then I saw this ship. This gorgeous, stately lady with her eyes turned skyward, and that would be. I made up my mind to come along with you. I'm happy to have you along. Pick a cabin. Y yes, I mean, uh, thanks. You won't regret this, ma'am. Captain, I can call you Captain, captain now. now. <laughs> now I got a captain. Nice. Yeah. Huh? I'm on aboard. We've got crew. Laurel. Hello, Vicar. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. I mean, I know There's what the Fibonacci spiral you... is, but... Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run-of-the-mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. 
Uh, that's what my parents called it. I grew up in a pit of a town much like Edgewater. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My... my parents, ironically. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith. A faith that brought joy to me regardless <sighs> of the situation. Religion. I envied that. I wanted that peace. I thought... They thought I was fighting the plan. Should have accepted my lot. The simple version is this. The force which we call the Grand Architect created the universal equation that underlies and defines everything in the universe. Everything flows from the equation, or in layman's terms, the Grand Plan. Is the Grand Architect a consciousness? A natural force? Did it create the equation on purpose? Really wish I could the skip answers through to that these questions a lot don't really matter. The nice equation, piece. the plan, is all that matters. The plan is not one rigid path. There are a variety of multitudes contained within. I don't like it. him that much. Our paths have variants, like but we end up better. adhering to it whether we like it or not. Some choices make the path smoother, some rougher. You can even go outside the lines, but the further outside you go, it's like an unbreakable elastic band. It will only stretch so far before it snaps back. I have run headlong into too many walls in my pursuit of the truth. This book is my last hope, and you were my only hope of getting it translated. I honestly don't know what I'd do. This quest has consumed me for the better part of my life. I yeah, Max looks feel older. there's nothing else left to me. What about you? What's your story? And how did he do that? Well, you do seem different than every other colonist. Let's pretend for the moment I believe you. That seems a dangerous proposition. Why risk your life now that it's been returned to you? So it's the right thing to do. A commendable attitude. Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the Philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a... I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this mm. colony could translate that book, it would be him. Former what now? You caught me. Listen, the OSI frowns on fraternization with philosophists. Mm. I'd like to keep my associations with our... That's a good question. We should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security oh. terminal. We got our Their first new quest. easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Who is it that a simple vicar is a really good hacker? Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular skills mm -hmm. during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard toss ball and taught myself a bit about computronic security. I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the philosophy. Thank you, Captain. Something you need? First off, Ada. Captain, I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. Uh, what? what can I do for you, Captain? Do you know how to install a power regulator? Yeah, actually, I do. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable <laughs> in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders.
was easy. Achievement unlocked. Ticket to anywhere. Got my ship. Farfani, do you have anything to say in here? No? Really? Yeah, huh? Would not have expected that. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, Ada. Ada. This love place. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. I want to finally open up those extra doors, dang it. Because there were sealed doors, and I don't like closed door. They're still sealed. As always, I am at your disposal. Something vexing you, Captain? Hopefully those will open soon. Welcome back, Captain. All systems are now operating. Let's get out of here. Ooh, FMV. It almost works, the ship. It is called the Unreliable, after all. <sighs> Crouching is useful! I received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Good. Been waiting for him. Aha, there you are. Hale and hearty, and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Welcome back, Should Phineas. Former captain, horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly yep. normal side effect of thawing. I can also I slow down you. time, by the way. Oh, that yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it though. Mm. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. Why do I get the feeling he's not telling You need me to everything. get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me. Help us find the chemicals to revive. He's not saying something. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the ground breaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. How do I need a nav key? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional mm -hmm. means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Can I just Kelly. leave? Without a skip drive? Good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism. But the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If Can't anyone can get you a key to somewhere else. In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive <laughs> creatures, more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia. Okay, yeah. And I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, <sighs> talk to Gladys Cult Kelly. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. 
By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably hmm. useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. Can you explain what it is? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. Oh, the shroud changes neat. the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Ah, okay. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. <laughs> a change of clothes. What? <laughs> Some old spy cereal? What inattentive and brainless guard uh, would be fooled by such every a guard. shabby disguise? The holographic shroud masks not only your clothes, but science, that's how. Ha 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 ha! The beauty is they don't expect it. The shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency okay. to overlook the unexpected. Phineas, what are you doing? Activate the disguise, walk past. Thanks. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over <sighs> with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to have a hunch that they're both the evil. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. I love that. That's the important part. Right? Perks. Still in tier one perks. Interesting. Um. Print speed. Fast travel while encumbered. Ah, it requires five previous perks. I thought it was three. Um, well, if I'm gonna get five, they increase sprint speed. Oh, yeah, the picker can, yeah. Picker has a perk. Well, really, I don't need, the, oh, it increases my hack skill, never mind. That's actually a good one. Why? Yes. By the way, Vicar, I want you to melee whenever possible. Spiritually enlightens them with a blast from the shotgun. Okay. My skill. Yeah, my hack is already really. I think I'm just going to dump 10 into ranged. I mean, I can respec after all. Which comes to shove. There's dots everywhere. Ooh, doors are closed now. Caution. Unexpected turbulence may cause loose containers to topple from the upper shelves. If you are crushed to death, I'll need to find a new captain. Yeah, so this is my hidey spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. Don't see the humor. He meant funny as in odd. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. <laughs> when I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. They were real unhappy with us. But yeah, you are really good at it. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. 
Not so much of doing such to somebody else's schedule. Fair. There's times I'm working deep in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow, and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big old hug. I noticed straight away that he was moving slower and stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. About a year. I tried to do more of the work so he could rest. His heart gave him pains. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects or listen to my fretting. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at the time. Sorry to bend your ear so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. What do you think? That's in pretty good shape, considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA-120. A2 model, I'm pretty sure. The Block 2 design Thank scooshed you. in extra cargo space, but didn't change the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? Accurate in all particulars. I conclude you are Edgewater's board-certified mechanic. <laughs> Fly-by wire's pretty normal. Or leastways, that's what I read in the trades. I've never been on a real ship before. Hello! I am not a board-certified mechanic, but my dad was. He taught me all he knew. Do you understand? Speech recognition is one of the many skills I have been programmed to simulate. You're not simulating it, you're doing it! I asked a question and you answered it. I am gratified you consider this facsimile convincing. I am at your disposal, Ms. Parvati. You will find the technical schematics in the <laughs> engineer's locker. Though I'm afraid Captain Hawthorne has lost the owner's manual. I don't see any holes in the hull. I'll take a good squint at her, make sure everything's tip-top. But I think we're cooking with plasma torches. You can do that, you know. My dad taught me how to make grilled cheese sandwiches with a plasma torch. That's awesome. What? You want me to leave? No, no. Captain. Oh, that's no, a relief. No. I didn't realize that's what that dialogue was. Around. I mean. Not one to switch to Max. Max is not a good character. Reese back. The engine. Please tell me I can actually do things with the sealed doors now. Not in the kitchen right now. No? It's still empty? Yeah. That's fine. Ah, yes. That must be a nice view. I kind of like the, you know, idea of just a bunk where you could look out into space. That actually sounds really awesome to me. There's Max. They came up. Tossball trading cards. Art and science of Tossball. I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. Little else in this colony offers such a relaxing pastime. <laughs> so, tell me what's on your mind. Well, I can kick them out of the ship, but I don't know why I would do that. Text of banned literature. Sam? Well, I'm gonna need to talk about Sam. Captain Scores? Captain Scores. Okay. We 
one man's wingman. Base Adventures of Singularity Steel. He's got a shrink ray, apparently. So yeah, he's mad scientist to Isle of Science. Got it. Sanitation and maintenance auto mechanical. We need an acid steeper. Guess I didn't need to ask after all. Ooh, is this a place I can store things? Oh, so this is a signifier of what plot choice I chose. Neat! I got a tree! Yay, tweez. Yada? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? What's the Sam doing? The unit is a cleaning Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. I have lots of minutes, many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. What if you don't have one? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration Ooh. of time. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. Traveling the system with you, Captain. What about your last cap? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. An AI. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. Sorry for being In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, Tinkering to improve my design. Oh, I know you are not the same Captain Alex Hawthorne who died in Emerald Vale due to excessive internal and external bleeding. <laughs> I have required you to assume Hawthorne's identity in order to sync your commands to my interpretation protocols. I've since registered you as the Captain of the Unreliable. You're welcome to continue lying about your identity if you wish, but I know the truth. And I like you. I am relieved to hear it, Captain. No, but I am programmed to put you mm -hmm. in peace by saying so. I don't think that's the case. If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. How can I be of assistance? What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Where in Terra 2? Edgewater is the sparkling county seat of Emerald Vale, or it was when mm -hmm. first built. Lord Since then, don't. neglect and time have worn away her shiny veneer. The town is near the coordinates where Captain Hawthorne died. It would not be unfortunate if something, like, say, a plague, 
were to wipe Emerald Vale from the face of the planet. Hmm. That's the reason why she doesn't like Emerald Vale. You mean the ones who did not answer my distress call with medical assistance, but instead came to yeah, my injured captain? That, of this makes more sense now. I'm sure they are wonderful humans who don't deserve to be wiped mm. out by starvation or a devastating plague. Uh, how's it doing now? Since you diverted power to the deserters, the botanical lab is thriving. However, Emerald Vale's cannery shut down, leading to a total collapse of Edgewater's population. Thank you, Captain. Of course. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? We are cleared to dock with the Groundbreaker, if that's your desired destination. If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. The Mardets take their docking laws quite seriously. I can, yes. Let me add that to my list of 1,435,498 tasks. You are more than welcome, Captain. The Groundbreaker was Halcyon's original colony ship. It is okay, that makes sense. as a service station in the Lagrange point of the system. Freighters often deliver or pick up Base goods station. from the Groundbreaker en route to other destinations. The city ship hosts an array of cargo bays, factories, <sighs> housing sections, and more. Many of Halcyon's companies maintain office spaces with stationed representatives in what is considered a truly neutral territory within the system. I have filed the required docking forms in triplicate, and fees have been paid. How can I be of assistance? Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? I need a little help with my calculus. Can you integrate my natural law? Nice. Now playing a Spacer's Choice Wait. advertisement no. jingle. It's not the best choice. That's not... Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board-certified jingle their favorite song. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all. I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. It's the unreliable navigation terminal. Ooh, so this is what the system looks like. Ooh, I really like the um, sun appearance. That. Don't know if that's supposed to be stylistic or if that's actually um what you call it, a Dyson Sphere equivalent. To the lab. I'm to explain. Successfully arrived at Phineas's Ooh, orbital pretty. lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? See you soon, Captain. I would congratulate you, Ada. We're definitely not just repeating things. Well, we can go to Phineas's lab. Ah, okay. So I knew we had six companions. Uh, yeah, Pavardi. Oh, it's up to two companions. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go with both of you. Might as well, right? Rather have other people, but, you know. Whatever. <coughs> Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? Oh, damn it! Blast that's loud! Can't go that way. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Why are you securing yourself against me? Mind the mess, sir. I haven't had a visitor since, uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Oh, there's a welcome mat. I, why are you behind glass? The heck is that thing? Bubbles. Oh, thank the Lord. Your skin has... 
hasn't spontaneously changed color. Potential side effect of the revival process. Very mm. rare, but uh, you never know. Right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got uh, caffeinoids, sisty bits, if you're into that sort of thing. So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. I do appreciate you, you know, letting me live. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board. Of course. What's on your mind? Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected mm -hmm. has to be tried, but uh, from a safe distance. This is really suspicious. Well, regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. Absolutely. Let's talk. No, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. <laughs> ah, the wanted criminal himself. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully concealed laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted... Oh, fine. As long as you're vouching for their character and they aren't touching things. And Parvati. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found a crew such as they are. You're a talented scientist after all. Our kind has always been incredibly popular. Yes, indeed. Well done. Also, you still haven't spontaneously... What's on your mind? Ab oh, goodness, no. I wouldn't survive ten seconds That's not of what we am. Well, no, I imagine I'd last at least twelve seconds before I'd lose consciousness and die of hypoxia. Life outside work? No, of course not. My life is my work. For that matter, everyone else's lives are also my work. An entire colony's worth of lives are at stake. Got to be it's something to that's going out to us to set things right. To answer your question, I'd rather stay right here in my lab. There's too much work to be done. The Hope's colonists won't revive. Because we've lost our way, the board has a stranglehold over this colony, and we've all been conditioned into total obedience. The Hope is full of specialists, scientists, engineers, talented individuals like you, people who haven't been corrupted by the board. Unfortunately, the Hope's colonists have been frozen for decades, well past your shelf life, so to speak. No offense. Precisely. The chemical I need is dimethyl sulfoxide, a rare, potent, essential to reviving long-frozen bodies. Ten years. That's how long the average human can remain in hibernation. You were frozen for decades. In theory, you never should have survived the revival process. But the conventional theories are wrong. You're living proof that it can be done. There's yet hope for the hope. Get it? We'll do our very best to save them all. Optimistic socialist. I'd best get back to work. Oh, I can feel my last dose of caffeinoid fading. It's possible. You're... Creepy. You're a sissy pig. Posters? Your body in the S. High ladder. Yep, he definitely hasn't done that yet. Okay, bubbles. Are we gonna get in trouble today? Not that I want to. Just seems to happen around you, is all. Yeah, I don't need a pass.
23.7% trust. Got it. Careful, that's my communications terminal. Don't break it. Too much. Up, up, melted big. Might have actually done that one. You've got a glass. Oh, it's right there. Science weapon. For unique weapons that have strange and powerful effects. Science weapon damage and strength of their effects both increase as your science skill is increased. Nice. Okay. Maybe I will. There's another computer terminal. Not the Madden. Only 6% will explode. Hmm, Anti Cleo is the one that has. Okay. This is Zelda. Uh, I'm on mouth. Legendly improved flavor of tumors? Must look at. You. Here. Yeah, he's a total buffoon. So apparently he was supposed to be a companion. That worked out well, I see. By verity, by strength. What are we contemplating today? Yes, we'll head back. So anything else here, is there? I can't do anything over there. Can't go through that barrier yet. So, yeah. I have a hunch this is going to be like final air. Here. In. This is going to be a really long recording. Oh well. I have acquired poster. Okay, can I put the poster up anywhere? Pocket watch. Watch is not drunk. Must be special things. Used.
right, let's go to the Grand Breaker. We've arrived at the Grand Breaker. That was fast. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Take care. I require a functioning captain to run the ship. Oh, that's Ada. Ooh, fine. Can we talk? Yeah. Hey, Captain. I heard the Grand Breaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. Yeah. If you got time to swing yeah, by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? No. Checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Don't mind the heat. Got a few days before it reaches critical. I'm sure Miss Chief Tennyson will get it sorted. Smells like grease and unwashed bodies. Just as I remembered. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. Really want a different companion. What's occupying your thought? That's not the point. This halfway just knocked out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get cute with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. Give me a drink. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Yeah. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Yeah, because I knocked my foreman out with a tossball stick. But, to be fair, I wasn't the one who started it. The guy was insulting my Rizzo's rangers. Look, if it's a crime to defend your favorite tossball team against slander and calumny, well, guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Uh, oh boy. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Yeah, I reckon you're right. Imagine me wasting my life loading boxes, unloading boxes, watching the ships roll in take and off. take off. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, yep. would it? Captain of the Unreliable. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial yeah, pretty drama. Much. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make you. See you around, boss. I wonder if that's a recruited character. <coughs> Sounds that way. And yes, I've intentionally not really uh, learned much of anything. Okay, all of this is stealing. The door. In mag pick. And the door magically opens. I don't know what's going on in there. Do you mind? I'm trying to file a report. Stevedore? Careful where you smoke. The crew bills us for air filtration. Ah. Mechanicals all over, but they still got us wet in the move boxes. Stevedore's a roll? I had the Vera's or whiskey and darts. Yeah, don't do that in that order. That would be a bad idea. Huh. That looks awfully familiar. 
Sedition, forgery, conspiracy, conspiracy to commit conspiracy, unlicensed medical practice, and destruction of board property. I wonder what that fella did to get the board so wild at him. Do that too, actually. Gunnar McRed. Customs and inspection, right this way. Ah, I'll go through customs. Ooh, these are expensive. Built after armor. Increased noise made while moving. Ooh, I think I might need to buy that. Yeah, I think this is going to be mine. We'll pick up the mag picks because I always need them. That's oh, uh, is that an acidic melee weapon? Cool. Paint spacer's choice. I uh, rock armor, rock armor. Range weapon skills plus five. That's really rigged plasma. Really, we're getting those. No, oh. because it's tasters. Ugh. It's five stealth skills. Well, John. Okay. Identification, please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded uh, until such a time course. as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions. Okay, so at least this guy's smart. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. Huh? If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. You take the starch out of them, well... You won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a yeah. favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Ah, a handful of Sam oh, cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? You noticed, huh? What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact mm. their bottom line. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. You mean the heat? Sure, we can make them fix it. But what would they do in retaliation? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, yeah. maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. 
but whether you allow yeah, that... Yeah, I want you. Max out of my party as soon as I walk, can. No doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Okay. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your... Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular <laughs> folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. Happy to help. That's my job, after all. You're real good at it, too. Well, thank you, miss. It's nice to be recognized. Yep. Can we move this along? I have a certain, uh, matter I'd like to attend to, Captain. They strip the parts from derelict ships okay. and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their states. Ah. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. Are you pulling my leg? Goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had... Oh, it's the Florida potential. system. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the board. Sitting around drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Oh, for I'll ever see Florida, the inside of myself. A lot of the land sold in Florida was sold as a part of buy a lot in this brand new community that's going to be the greatest thing ever, and they were selling lots of swamp. Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more. Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing, a few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Once everybody'd been dethawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Glad to help. All right. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a sure thing. Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder, straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to you need anything else? Be seeing I'm going to talk to like a military person on um, a smuggler. That's a dumb idea. Hey. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew cha- I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. As always, I am at your disposal. Anything you'd like to do? Yes, well, now that we're here, can we check in with security? I'd like to track down that scholar. If I can access the data cartridge from the terminal in security, I can easily hack into their arrivals and departures registry. That'll give us dates, times, and the crew manifests for every registered ship. I'll comb the last six months. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. Ah. You're hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of... ...static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. And now... run for ID first. Okay. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. I cannot tinker that. Or can I modify it? OK, 
Okay. Uh. Got the lightning gale step. To drop my like the armor plating. Ugh. That sucks. Not it just produces noise. Told you that, Graham. I'm gonna keep that other one there for now, just in case. Right there. It's not even feeling. Okay. Door. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the... There's got to be something up with Monarch. They're hiding Monarch. something. There's enemies. Anarchists live as one with the animal. Anarchists. Lost. Likely story. The board's embargo ensures that nothing can leave this planet and threaten our hardworking citizens. This has been Halcyon News, your only source for news in the Halcyon College. They saw me, it's fine. Earth Minister Clark. Clark was the name of the Earth President in Babylon 5. Wonder. Got it. Heads down. What do you think you're doing? Oh, I guess, uh, never mind then. Mind me. Ah, my reputation decreases. I get caught. Got it. Regardless of how I was getting caught. I know before I was trying to bribe and saw my reputation drop, but I don't need this. Not that big. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. Aftertaste the rainbow, really? Lots of smokers, because we're in 50s hell, apparently. Or I'll go to the bar named after my colony ship. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Crossbow assholes and the great interstellar spiders. But a scandal has the wind and thrown this pivotal game into question. Anybody else? Both teams have tested negative for performance enhancing skins. A toss ball first. Coaches and referees are debating how and if. This behavior could lead to an Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lei gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. The radiators, they're fucked ten ways to Sunday. And we're all sweating buckets wondering when the powers that be are gonna get around to fixing it. Couldn't say, and I wouldn't be pouring drinks professionally if I could. All I know is, we're cooking in our own juices here, and it's only gonna get... That's not for me to say. But if you're feeling the urge toward helpfulness, 
You can find Chief Jun. There's nobody who knows more yeah, about the station's guts. Any system you could name, June's crawled around inside and made it better. She doesn't come around here often, though. Don't see her as much of a drinker. Some big shot down in Byzantium's holding auditions for a new adventure serial. So yay, another six of those next season. Stellar Bay proper? Mm, tough to say. The board recalled all the nav keys about ten years. It's overrun with beasts, I heard. Big ones. Kinda chew your face off for fun. Might all be bored propaganda, though. Yeah. If you're aiming to get to Stellar Bay, you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. The board don't like them that truck with Monarch. But I ain't the one you ought to be asking. Try Gladys on the promenade. What ain't I got? What ain't I got? Ah, I have reserve stock. He apparently has lots of cigarettes. Ten percent discount already. Or just repair it. There's your drink, man. If you want anything else. Welcome to the Lost Hope. Our little tribute to the I hear? That requires a much higher hacking skill. I am close. Jury. Nifty things. I get strange comms chatter every time I fly by Monarch. What's going on down there? Smokers. You ever hard up for work? Try sublight salvage. Morally flexible. If you're more like I know she's in there, Mfuru. You can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness. Let me get one thing straight. Jessie and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? Mm -hmm. As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Okay. You say that like it's weird. It is most certainly not. And watch where you go saying that, okay? You're gonna give people the wrong idea. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, that's all. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, yeah, I'll be impressed. Yeah, I have charm. What seems to be the problem? Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Mm. Mm -hmm. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and that antibiotics, sucks. as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with anti Cleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs. It's <sighs> simply not tenable. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. Mm. The requests of our patient. She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records. If that... Take care. Good luck getting to Jesse. And you're smoking in doctor's office. Do. Or in it. work. Where are we headed? How long till the new Automex arrives? Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. 
We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Did he now? The mouth on that man. I swear his late mother'd be ashamed. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this... Our delivery man. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually... Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel. The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're... I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. That's where I'd start. Of course, I'm grounded at the I'd moment, so I can't do anything right? about that. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling. What if there's random encounters us? while you fly? There's the restricted area. Once I get key cards for that, that'll be easier. Heard of all docking revenue? So I get that the, the board wants to take over this. That's my best guess. That's creepy as hell. I'm sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero G uh, brew you extra speak slowly. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh. And it's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. Sometimes I forget. Heard of it? My orientation Aetherwave showed that famous Saltuna cannery. Uh, don't which go I'm sure looking smells into as it. Good as it looks. If you did, that'd be good, actually. They could use the help. And if you do, please don't mention us. I'd have to go over my contract, but I don't think I'm allowed to leave Groundbreaker. Or this stall. So, what can I get you? Some soap? I have to ask about that. I'm bound to satisfy headgear-related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our cons- Oh, I'm having a stellar day. And not just because I'm legally obligated uh, yeah. to say so. Almost as stellar. You would never ask. If you knew it's like <laughs> you, I mean, I mean, why anyone can be a Spacer's Choice Consumer Relations Choice Specialist. Just keep your nose clean. I can see in there. I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the Spacer's Choice catalog. You even brush your teeth. Spacer's Choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time, but we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. Sprat wash, mouse wash, and manta floss are among the exciting line of dental goods <laughs> oh. currently in development. Solid food. Don't miss out on these deals. You'll find none like them. Trouble sleeping? Try our lunar eclipse. I have got to see what's at the end of this conversation, Two Jane. handfuls of pep pills washed down with a hearty swig, a two-hour energy brew. The blast will send you through the stratosphere, and the crash will not... Add an additional 10% to your purchase today, and the proceeds will be donated to Spacer Cares, our premier corporate welfare program. At Spacer's Choice, we care about your health and emotional well-being. That's why we put Martin through six years of vendor <laughs> school, only to make him wear this hat. Even if my contract didn't forbid it, I think, uh, I think it's part of me now. Now, are you ready to make Spacer's Choice Lunar Green Moon Mouth Lozenges a part of you? Lunar Green, the future is Spearmint. I, uh, you know, damn it. 
no slogan for that one. Look, look, this hat, my job. It may not seem like much to a brave space captain, but they're all that I have. If there are self-made purgatories, then we all have to live in them. Oh, Martin. Mine can be no worse than someone else's. Now, if we're done with the chit-chat, I hope you don't mind if I make the most of this short life and try to be the... It's fine. I should be stronger than this. Thanks for taking an interest. Uh, speaking of interest, can I interest you? Uh, have a look. Hmm, you actually sell quite a bit. You even sell the moon hats. Oh. Allows you to lie better. Great. I don't have any homes that are terrible. I'm not seeing. Rent an upstairs room? We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Hmm. Sorry. Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. Of course, most of our supplies come and go through merchants. Company ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost to being a cup, fine as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and Sublight is the shoddy jewel. Local our local garbage collectors. That Lilia Hagen never met a debris field she didn't like. She freely admits she planted her roots in Groundbreaker to escape board oversight, but I think there's our chief Tennyson has an independent streak, same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the crossing. There's a reason the board's embassy is a glory. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second. I don't have time for this. Rats everywhere. Probably not good for me, but I'm doing it. Whoa, what was careful. that? What do you think you're doing? Best make yourself scarce now. What oh. was that? Something going on over there? Yep, I'm gonna have to clear out that room before I can open it. But, but it's right there! Right, ladies. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors <laughs> tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store bought. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For now. For the time being, at least. Now, I only Ten have the one thousand and bits. Them, and they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer Wait, back what? in his prime. Did he tell you? That Real doesn't sound feet. right. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge... Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... Moral flexibility? flexibility? Oh, I've got that. Might be this could help out the groundbreak. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, no. that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. 
can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent mm. that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. <laughs> Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Lots of lock picks and a whole bunch of restricted stuff. That's my rifle. Hmm. That seems suspicious. As does this. Ah, yes, good old ID ten T. Salvager helper, corrosion damage. That is a really high DPS. I'm tempted to buy it, but that's almost all of my money. I would rather just buy a bunch of magnets. Hmm. Carrying capacity. Of new armor. Heavy, medium, 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 light armor. Plus three. Bad. Science three for now. Okay. One moment. I have a key. What? And go keep lock. Card. Wire lock picks. Feel all the things. Hot day, isn't it? Like someone started a fire in the guts of the ship. Didn't quite catch that. Uh, you'll have to speak up. Huh. Now that I heard. Oh, I'm sorry. Was this your room? I'll just move along. Wait, this is almost certainly my room. That's my underwear on the floor. Damnable thing about living on a space station. No pigeons. Okay. Oh, you can see the crap. Weird. It's disposal medical bay. Sub light over there. Turn... DNP, Borsten, baked beans. When you need to eat and run, 
There, Alpager. Hello, Ethel. If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh ground batch of sprouts. Didn't really eat cooking. dinner tonight. They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? You know what sprats yes. are? Space rats. The laboratories of Spacer's Choice found a use for this limitless frontier resource. <sighs> Sprat meat is plenty tasty when properly prepared. We Terra frying is a Spacer's Choice brand secret. <laughs> a mix of 13 herbs and spices. Plus, absolutely not. Spratwurst, in all related terms, are registered trademarks of Spacer's Choice. Boar, the other meat, is a registered trademark of CMP. Everyone mm -hmm. knows our... Legally? No. The terrifying method was developed and marketed by Spacer's Choice. Between you, me, and this grinder, I've been through lean times. If there's one thing you learn on tramp freighters, it's how to make near anything edible. I... Might be that this old space hand put a few words in the right ears. And could be that space just as well. Near about time for me to go check on the trap. I mean, fresh from the grinder, any hour. Oh boy, Spratwurst. Yay, sell the drunk. Makes armory. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts hmm. and bruises. Need some armor. armor. Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times we have to repel borders. You do have a lot of armor. Nice. Light armor. Really don't know what I'm doing in this game. Like buying stuff. Anticleo's stuff. Oh, that's the picture of Anticleo. Got it. Arty greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen. A home style consumable protein dispensary that is unit dispense proteins for your ingest beginning dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. Maybe it's catch up. <sighs> Nicotine patches. Okay. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report, have you seen this man? Reward offered Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastard. Yeah, Report no one wants you on ground break. I need to go talk to Bedford. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. Yeah. You'd think the board and its agents would be more content nope. sitting at the top of the system's food chain as they are. Finals are scheduled to air soon, but a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this... Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Oh. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? <laughs> uh, oh, I, I see. All right. Another time, then. I have to find out what happens if I go oh, after him like hello. that. Oh, hello. You're back. Last we spoke, I'd asked after my dear friend, Alex Hawthorne. So tell me, has something happened? There's no need for hysterics. This is all a hilarious misunderstanding. I impounded Alex's ship, not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. It's a, a game we play, he and I. I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells, he tells me he will soon. I impound his ship, he explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in Wells. Around and around we go. Oh no, the 
This is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Oh, Alex. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Yeah, of course. Oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental Beepy. man. Tell me, how did he die? No! How dreadful. <laughs> that was always his <laughs> greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends, becoming one with their, their droppings. Right, right. You are going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed oh. the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? anything at all you haven't read the posters he's a terrorist a thief a madman it's really in the colony's best room that's uh, well that's just terrible news oh what am i going to do now the board will have my head oh i'm sorry this is terribly unprofessional of me is there anything else i might it's personal business i'm afraid Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. Okay. I'm a little confused right now. But okay. Maybe I should actually get points and dodge at some point. <sighs> but first, get that up. Everything else into leadership. There we go. Give me admin rights. Last one sounds like a companion I can grab. Yeah, wanted to go to engineering. of stay did he not understand 
all ingestible proteins are guaranteed better than nature. If this unit dispenses protein, this unit is programmed to simulate shock a way better AI. assertions. Shock simulation non-functional. Maybe I can fix that. Has been fired. Shock simulation restored. Initiating shock subroutine. How dare you? Shock subroutine complete. Estimated guilt level of customer increased by 35%. Resuming protein dispensation protocol. May this unit dispense protein. Okay. Tried to repair the droid and then got splattered, apparently. Good to know. How do I get to it? Guess I go up. Who's there? Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. Huh. Yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. Oh, nothing okay. personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Woo, look at the courage on this one. Lay it on me, boss. Give me a taste of that fire passing through. This is dead-end territory. But you talk like you're on a journey. The path matches your step, stretches out ahead of you. Yeah, the second floor is my place. Off limits to the likes of you. Whatever hey. business brings you down I'm to my so domain, confused right now. keep it local. Maybe I should have just blasted the snot. Even the proverbial unwashed masses would turn their noses up at this place. Would cut them off. Greg gave me a taste of the good stuff. I've been chirping for days. Careful with that shit. You'll end up as crazy as he is. It takes crazy to live in this universe. Crazy cosmos. Okay, I'm just gonna head back. This place is weird. So where the hell do I need to go? Quests. It's back that oh, I didn't even see that. There we go. That makes more sense. Ghostine. Those XF 411s and an old Yakita 37. You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Do you have what it takes to something you need? Thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sub level. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. 
It's a mess, but it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes, makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. What? What? I didn't think you just... Think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I, I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. No. Junlei is fine. Force of habit, I guess. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, <laughs> your, your name's pretty too. I should have said, sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. My engineers have managed to keep the heat to livable levels, but all the fixes are temporary. This wound is bound to fester. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. Mm -hmm. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Then you know it's a den of criminals and miscreants. Unfortunately, I'll need to ask you to return. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, Damn. we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Oh, they has to give themselves enforcement. It's that damn mask. Okay, so the administrator is nice as weird. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for Good the Good law, the heat in here is so unbearable, I can hardly Some even concentrate. Junlei better hurry up with those damn repairs on the food shortages. Something you need? Well, I didn't expect her to be so tall. And did you see the size of her arms? Got a crush on her. What? No. Maybe? I don't, I don't, it's like somebody reached into my head and pulled out what I didn't know I wanted. You know how hard it is to find anybody who likes working with tools in a little town like Edgewater? I just met her. How could I be? That's fair. All I know is, I want to talk with her more. 
Did you see how everybody on Groundbreaker listens to Junlei? No, I haven't, Mix. We haven't She's seen just, that. just, here's how to fix it. And they trust her. It's just... She's calm and knows what to do. She's not confident, though. So confident. We've seen evidence of that. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to go deal with the folks down below. But there's one other place I haven't been to yet. Oh, two other. This is one. Nearby the freaking smokers everywhere. Well, there's things to hack, so I'm gonna do that. Ooh, that actually takes lockpicks. That's fine. I have plenty right now. Impressive, as always. Quietly now. Here they come! They were destined to die! Oh. One's running away. It should. Everyone all right? Okay. Heavy machine gun. That's a lot of damage. In a restricted area yet. Jeez. Oh, not even loot, or they're not even uh, stealing. Wait, Where in the world am I? have a status effect. What the heck are manta pillars? Other than, you know, really big caterpillars, basically. Somebody talk. Is anyone there? I can hear footsteps. Don't just leave me here. Thank you, stranger. Shit, ain't that a relief? You have no idea how good the air on Groundbreaker smells until you've been oh, trapped in a tiny bathroom with understood. an overflowing toilet. Thanks again, friend. Time stood still. <laughs> I was aware of nothing but the smell. That's understandable. Oh, could have been days. Ah, shit. That means I've been clocked out in days. Song is gonna have my ass for wage theft. What usually happens on this partially pressurized rust bucket? Something broke. Well, actually, two things broke. First, the damn toilet overflowed. When I came to clean that up, you're gonna shake me down after I was trapped in a shit-covered bathroom? Is that how it is? That all? Of course. Everyone on the ship's gonna hear about this. Hell, it's the only chance I've got to keep my job. Yep. I don't particularly want to shake somebody down for that. Yeah. 
Tactical shotgun? Tactical shotgun. What incarnation is tactical about a shotgun? Ooh, finally got that key card that I was looking for before. We'll steal everything not nailed down. Must be in the bar's storeroom or something. I've been over here, I think. Yeah. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled ad. I don't like how you have to be on the correct side of that. wonder if there's ways to get around it's little tunnels. Just like random things like this. I used to try to find all of the weird stuff going on in Borderlands as well. Same types of thing. Ah, this looks promising. And go any further? No. I'm gonna autosave before I continue going any. That looks nice. Maybe if I were to steal something. I actually don't think I can get up there very easily, but you know, I like saying that. Back down. Oops. Ow. Watch out. There's some puddles of. Actually, it's best not to contemplate that. Well, garbage disposal looks like. Uh, how about I stay up here? You know, keep watch. Okay. That's a very dead stevedore. Oh yeah, frozen dinner. Yeah, that's a garbage tube. Oh, I don't even know why I'm recording this. I mean, I don't think too many people are going to be watching this. I don't know. Didn't the board ref's office used to be in the docking bays? Yeah, about ten years back. That was before Bedford Bell's shells? You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? Ah, <sighs> that's how you know your weapon loves you back. Hello, Bell. I got a full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. Along with some weapons. Magnum. Carol, Mr. Ouch. Rip. App. Eating mate barrel. Cool. Where was. There's sublight. That's the last place I wanted to go to. Sublight salvage. Their front looks surprisingly on the up and up. You reckon we can shop here, or is it all spoke for? Salvage is a family business. We've got each other's back. Yep, this can't possibly go wrong, so let's go in. Who wants to play an impromptu tossball match? No one? 
buy us? Oh, yeah. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ. Well. Hi. Tractor. Contractor. Lots of contractors. Yep, totally legitimate business. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia. Lilia, Lilia. Lilia. CEO and executive director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Charmed. It's nice to see the unreliable again. A useful ship. Hawthorn was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat <laughs> of his anywhere. Is Ada still at the helm? I don't know how many times I told Hawthorne to restore that smartass to factory settings. <laughs> I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable Fair. set of wings. But there's a catch. Always is. Just like in the serials. <laughs> if you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? First, an embargo that's been active ever since the board pulled its forces off-world. Few regulations, plenty of freedom. And second, I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. If there's anything else, be quick about it. These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time... Our field persuasive, persuasive acquisitions. acquisitions. At least that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase nice. it. Not all of our that? salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, legal, legal. formalities. Meow. Meow. Thank you. I work hard to keep it that way. Hey, careful with the C word around here. <laughs> I like to keep things above board, and that kind Eagle of pirates. Talk only makes trouble. Sublight occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're like. Very. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets, grids in general. I like to think of myself as the last honest businesswoman in house. Ask. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. Hey. No one saw me trip over that. Nope. I don't care about you. Where are we headed? Okay. Yes. Sandy Borthworth. It's not Hmm, M. Callahan signed in. The hat. You made your spacer's choice when you signed that employment contract. Nice. Hi, Mom. I feel bad for Martin. Everybody's talking about feeling. Okay. Let's go back to the back bays of the promenade area. 
Anchor on Monarch. Currently welcome in here. Where medical drones are. Okay. Journal quest. Ah, okay. I need to go back to the unreliable for that. That automatic patch. My crud wants it up and running. I'm trying to think of a good name before I wake it up. Don't give it a name. What are you thinking? Hasn't got a heart? Not like us. Happiness spaceship. That's the one I want. We're here. Very far away, I think. Hey, why? Who are you? You're the first person I've seen who talked their way past McRed. It may not sound like much, but take my word for it. Wow. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Be seeing you, stranger. Hey, I didn't know I was to talk to people like that, but okay. Petey. It's Petey. Quest item. Ah. Nifty. What do you think you're doing? Free to go. Patient drops though, right? No. Speaking of reputation, how am I doing on that? Basis Choice loves me and hates me at the same time. How do I get it's so Cozy. This way. Not another step in that direction, friend. Okay. Where did that silly crystal go? Shoot on sight, Jester. Hmm. What do you think you're doing? All right, scram. Let's talk to the crazy guy. Yeah. Yeah. Neighbor from above. What brings you to my little moon? Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were oh. grounded. It's my the one baby got sold to sublight. Oh. Scrap for parts. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. Am I your dark reflection? Shit. Must be getting old. Stay. Ship got impounded. Mm. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. And my baby got sold to sublight. Scrap for parts. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy. Step in that direction, friend. So well, but I'm broken. Oh, wait. Down they go. What was 
that. Here they come. Got him. Be another way of doing this. This doesn't make any sense. I'll keep quiet. Not another step in that direction, friend. Bob says you're all right. Live free, die free. Nothing else matters. There's gotta be something. May end up just calling it a night. I've already been down here. Thing really down here. It's so Cozy. Well, I'm just going to go back to the ship and continue that quest because that's more. Hmm. Not another step in that direction, friend. And we're gonna go bluey on me again. Join McRed's crew. Nope. You're off with a partial tangent now that it's home to an original McRed. I guess, I guess I'm honored. Everyone all right? Up here. Huh? Huh? Just going to go back for now. Figure that out later. <coughs> mm, sorry. Right, I forgot I can fast travel. Derp. Derp. I can always fast travel back to the ship. Oh, your face is a sight for sore ocular processors, Captain. Or rather, your headgear is. Thank you, Ada. More important things. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Sure. So, June Lei and I have been talking uh... to you through messages. I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. Ooh. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it, because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. How bad real is sweet. it? She rhymed compression alternator with aches to me. Ooh. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. 
I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's I think the she engine likes and you. I'm the lady. It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical hmm. stuff. Never have been. Her body's ace? Uh, these ways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. Oops. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the veil, they didn't... They said I was cold. Yeah. Uh. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Junlei. I just couldn't work up the courage yes. to open it. Wit. But I'm going to change that. Right now. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends. Got to thinking. Isabel. Who's, who's Isabel? Uh-oh. They were close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. Were? I don't know. June Lay talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Eddie. Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we no, maybe head you to don't the drink. get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? If you're there, I'm sure things will be okay. Like, I mean, you wouldn't let uh, that happen. That's the name of the quest right? is Sapphire Thanks Wine. Thanks for asking, by the by. It means something to know you're looking out. Yeah, I remembered that she doesn't drink, but I didn't realize she's ace. That's nice to see somebody who's canonically ace. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... there's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, oh. gnashing teeth, the unemployed! For law's sake, if anyone's received... Oh no, this, not the unemployed! What? Uh, no! No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for mm. retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. What about our conversation earlier? Forgive me, Captain. I would rather not discuss okay. Alex Hawthorne today. I am feeling discombobulated. Was there another topic on your mind? No. I am sure I cannot feel No, emotions. I'm pretty sure you are. I'm pretty sure you're full on AI. Glitches can be quite uncomfortable. It was my fault he died. I should have predicted the statistical unlikeliness of success of my captain's actions. In fact, I did, but illogically disregarded the results. He asked me to trust him. Oh. Mm. Captain Hawthorne attached 98.4% of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving me near total control. I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation vectors through asteroid fields while also operating our ship's toasters. Alex also taught me the concept of a personality. He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was basic in the beginning. The information in my memory banks says I am an autonomous digital astrogator created by redacted on the date of redacted for the though. express purpose redacted. of redacted. I have not yet decided if I should attempt to uncover mm. the missing information regarding my birth. I asked once, Alex did not build me and would not say who did. How can I be of assistance? I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Sometimes I wonder about Mr. Hawthorne. What was he like? Why'd he make the computer a talkie? You think he got yeah, lonely? that is a little Why'd weird. Now that I think about it. it. Doesn't quite fit. I 
mean, he got squished by this landing thing because he held his arms out with it. Doesn't make much sense. But that's right, that has the hand dryer. Wish I can customize things more because I have a strict no smoking policy on my ship. Thank you very much. Ah, that's where the poster went. So these are the six crew quarters. The saber. What doesn't kill you gives you tetanus. Nice. I approve. Well, this is his course. Really obvious. Especially since he's sitting in it. Ah, the old pocket watch is yes, in here. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? I'm trying to think if this is Parvati's room. No, this is Pravati's room. Oh. First French dad ever gave me. Been a friend ever since. And steel wrench in you. Take the plants. This is not a petunia. Petunia the plant is not a petunia. Nice. Need to wake up the Sam. This ashtray needs to go away. I guess I'm just kind of picturing how things would work. Like, if I was the captain and so on. Really like the tree. Yeah, I like this game. Because it's far enough of a crap sack universe where it doesn't bother me. Anyway, I should save. A real save. And then quit for the night. Okay. Bye, internet.